Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can convert this table into an heat map and also I will also show you one trick you know which I found it while I was experimenting with the heat map so I found I thought it will be very useful because what happened is when you convert it into a heat map you basically change the background color of it so that a heat map sort of a style can come but what will going to happen with these numbers the numbers creates an issue and that is what i want to show you with this trick that how you can you know have the numbers here but they will also disappear right so it's like having it both way we need to have numbers so that we can show the impact of colors but they need to disappear because we don't want these numbers we just want to show the impact with the help of color and that is something that we will see in this video just before i move ahead a quick information that this is a google sheet where i keep all of my videos and you can see i'm on my 299th or 298th if i consider the title so close to 300 videos is what present over here so the idea is that uh, link is present in description you can come and access this all my power bi videos over here title is present in column a video is link is present in column b that way searching of my videos that I have posted becomes very very easy for you. So that and the dataset link is also present. So dataset link will bring you to the dataset folder where I have the dataset sheet. And that's where I keep wherever I can find the good datasets. And the one which I'm using is present over here, sample superstore dataset. Okay, coming back to the Power BI. So over here, first thing first is in this, we don't need titles because in heat map, we don't show the title. So I will remove both the titles. Titles are gone, right? Now, once the titles are gone, you know, to enable the heat map, I have two ways. I can come over here, conditional formatting, background color, right? And background color, lowest value to the highest value. And I click OK very straightforward right but the challenge with this is it doesn't give me an option of uh, you know um, option of removing the numbers you see gradient applies to values only some as z how we should format empty value as zero all of that you can add a middle color as well but it does not have anything which is related to this so you know a couple a small trick that we can apply over here is is related to one more conditional formatting or one more basically formatting on top of that but before that you can you know you may be wondering if we can find some sort of a property let's say in values right we do not have anything related to text color you can make all the text color let's say white right but they will come like this so i will hit undo so there is no direct option which is present over here even over here you have cell elements right background color is present but it's the same setting that we had applied same setting you can come and apply also in specific columns sum of sales you can apply text values but again text values is single not dynamic if it would be dynamic like this color we would have basically easily created the impact that color text values with same color and the background color is also the same color so there is no issues so let me show you now the trick and if you find another way feel free to comment it in the section all right so what i'll do is i will come over here and i'll click on the data bars okay first thing first i will say show bar only and over here we have minimum and maximum value we have positive and negative bar and direction right so we will not say lowest value we will say custom and we will enter the value one we will say highest value but no custom and value one right and we will say show bar positive bar negative bar and i'll click ok right as soon as you click on this you see that all the values are gone and that is basically a hidden method or a hidden trick the only thing is this axis is coming which we can remove it again by going over there if you would have observed there is this access option is present and uh, we can keep it white, right? So that would also remove or it's a little bit bluish color that way it will be removed. But whole idea is this that now you have something which is bar and uh, basically all the numbers are gone and what you are seeing is just those value. 
and uh, you can create a tooltip of some of sales and all of that uh, from this and then basically bring your heat map but no values just one more last thing which i will do is these lines and let me just show you very quickly that uh, we can remove the impact because we will choose a line which is very similar to this right this one and uh, by choosing this we'll go in more colors and we will choose towards a little bit lighter color click ok and all the lines you will see are now removed i mean it is not creating that hindrance that we create that was earlier with the white color so this is one of the options very easily you can choose this if you are trying to get the similar impact right and then you know want to create a heat map if you see so many values even you can have one more quarter over here and it will create that impact for you with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic